Good morning. It is 7.09 a.m. on Friday, January 11th, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I'm not feeling very well today. I kind of woke up um, at about like 4 a.m. with like a real kind of an intense headache and feeling some strange congestion where like my airway is not obstructed, but I feel just generally swollen. Um, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm feeling kind of a little weird and I'm hoping to shake it off, but, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> um, I did go and exercise last night and then I worked a bit more on the Phyllis Esposito ebook. I'm getting pretty close to that one being ready, I think, to, to start assembling the final package. But the beginning, the opening lines are so critical. I still just like I'm, I'm still struggling just trying to get those exactly where I want them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so did that a bit and I've been also still continuing to watch through Brooklyn Nine-Nine, uh, which is on Netflix here in uh, the, at least on the Korean Netflix library. I think it might be on Hulu in the United States, but uh, I, you know, I never watched it when it was new and I have been delighted to discover it on Netflix. It's a very fun show. My understanding is that it shares some producers and maybe writers with uh, Parks and Rec, which I also loved, and also The Good Place, which I also love. I don't actually watch that many sitcom-type shows, but those those work for me in that, in a specific way that I I just I dig it. It's it's so good-natured. It makes me happy. Uh, I think that. This all just ties into something I was seeing some discussion about on Twitter recently about a move away from sarcasm and back towards earnestness in pop culture products. And I like that personally. I mean, sarcasm, I think, has its place, of course. Everybody uses it sometimes, and I don't want to take that away, but I think it's also true that sarcasm is generally, it almost can't help but to be a mean kind of humor. Um, because it's like inherently dismissive of something, which is not to say that can't be funny, but I think there is also perhaps more of a righteous challenge in the idea of being able to be funny without being mean or sarcastic or ironic. And that's on top of the idea that uh, those sorts, you know, irony and sarcasm are easier to misunderstand. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to be coming out on, like, making a hard stance of, ah, uh, Christiana Ellis is opposed to sarcasm. But uh, I think I have found myself increasingly attracted to humor that is not primarily sarcastic in nature. And I think that, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot out there that works for me in that way. And it's, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I don't feel like I have a larger point about that. I woke up with a headache, you guys. I don't, don't. Don't make me be coherent, please. Please help me. <laughs> I'm trapped in this hell of telling myself to make a video every day and having to be meaningful. It's not really a hell. <laughs> I do it voluntarily. But still, sometimes it's like, I don't really feel like I have anything to say. Or I'm, I don't know if I'm saying anything that means anything. Oh, well. Anyway, it's Friday. 
I think the loose plan is that we're going to go visit the city of Pusan tomorrow for some sightseeing. Uh, but I hope I'm feeling better because I'm not sure I would be feeling the way I feel right now. I'm not sure I'd be up for doing a lot of walking around and sightseeing, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.